Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk to you about fridges and cooler boxes, whether you need one or the other. Before we got this fridge, we used a cooler box that we bought from our local supermarket and it did us well for a very long time. However, as our family grew and our aspirations to go longer and further improved, we thought we'd need to move to a fridge and particularly we moved to a fridge freezer. However, that doesn't mean you have to. The cooler boxes you can get on the market today, especially the roto-formed cooler boxes, are actually quite good. I've seen reports of some of them holding ice for up to five days. Yes, you need to look after it and ensure that you remove the water from it when it, the ice eventually melts, but it can keep your, your produce cold or cool for the period that you, you need, need it for. Like I said, we decided we needed something better that'll take us a little bit, little bit further. And in particular, we were looking for a freezer. With a growing family, we just thought, you know what? The last thing we want to do, I say we, I don't do much, do much cooking. Last thing the wife wants to do is slave over a gas burner making food for us. So what we would do is have a batch cook of a few stews and then freeze a bunch. And in this particular fridge, which is the Snowmaster CL56D, it's a dual compartment fridge freezer. It's got a 20 litre compartment at the back and a 36 litre compartment at the front. You can set either to be a fridge or a freezer, or for that matter, both to be a fridge. So you can end up with a lot of storage capabilities at your fingertips. And our last trip, we spent a total of 12 days on the road in three different campsites which range from a normal normal campsite that you would expect to two wild camping sites where we were completely alone and isolated. This fridge we had a whole bunch of frozen meals in the back and our normal cold produce in the front and it lasted us the whole time. We run it off of a hundred amp hour battery in the back which is fed by my solar panel, which is currently stowed away up here. And that's only 100 watts. Yes, it's a bit light in the pants, especially in this wonderful British weather we have in the UK. But you know what? In the end of the day, this fridge with this battery combo lasted us the whole time. And we managed to keep everything frozen. And in fact, our last day, the battery cut off because we just couldn't get enough power out of the sun or lack of sun. So we just didn't open this fridge. And when we got home, the frozen produce, after almost 24 hours, was still frozen. So you see, that is a big advantage. So in the end of the day, you need to decide, are you going away for long periods of time, or are you just going away for a weekend? If, however, you're going away just for the weekends, I would suggest all you need is a high quality, roto-formed cooler box which you can pre-cool before you set off, put all your, your cool stuff in, add some ice bricks or ice, and then off you go. And by Sunday, when you come back, it's most likely still be a lot of ice in that box and your food will be kept fresh. However, if you're like us and you aspire to going further, um, I would say a fridge is an essential item, especially if you're a family. Well, there we go. I hope you found this useful please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.